Hello everybody, it's Anthony with Genesis and How Rescue Systems. Today we're going to give you a brief overview of the Genesis 11C combination tools. Two different versions, one with removable tips and the other with fixed tips. We'll start with removable tips. So to take the tips off, we simply push the buttons down, remove the tips, and we can either leave them off if we need to make several cuts, allowing for the tips to be out of the way, of course, and also making a more thorough and cleaner cut. Some tip options would be the rapid intervention tip and the extended reach tip. The tool itself is powered by the Milwaukee 28 volt lithium ion battery, available in either five or three amp hours. Moving on back to the tool, rotatable handle, also removable, LED lights on the front and rear of the tool, off on is on the top, the Genesis rocker switch, which allows for fine motor skills of your forefinger and your thumb, rather than a gross motor skill of a twist control. It's also a variable speed controller where I can feather this and control the open and close of the tool. And one last thing, a dead man control, so when I let go, the tool stops. The Genesis 11C removable tips. Let's talk about the fixed tip. So this version over here does not offer any of the accessory tips. However, it does offer the Genesis mechanical ram. This mechanical ram can be attached to the end of the tip by simply sliding the pins out, putting them into the holes, and attaching the ram to it. The Genesis 11C would normally offer 11 inches of spread on either version. By adding the mechanical ram, we get an additional 15 inches, which takes us to a total of 26 inches of spread. The Genesis 11C combination tools. Follow me out to the junkyard and let's take a closer look. Welcome back everybody. As we mentioned, we want to show you the versatility of the Genesis 11C combination tool. So here in the junkyard, we're going to tear apart this complete vehicle with the 11C using the standard tips as well as removing the tips when needed to make more thorough and cleaner cuts. We're going to start with the back door, driver's side, vertical door crunch, and move forward from there. So our typical vertical door crunch with a typical spreader would be from here to here inside the window. With the 11C, we only have 11 inches of spread, so we need to come up with some other ideas, tips and tricks, if you will, for using the 11C and other combination tools. As you can see here, I placed the 11C in this back triangular window to be able to get the spread just from here to here to get my purchase point. Obviously, there's other ways to get purchase points as well, but we're showing you the 11C. We want to see how we can do it with that. So as you can see, very simple. We have the door open, we have access to our patient compartment now in the rear. Uh, the next thing I wanna do is think ahead into my extrication process. I know that eventually I'm gonna take this roof off. I know that I have a battery tool here. I know I do have redundancy for other batteries with other batteries. However, I wanna to try to use every maneuver of this tool open and close without wasting any or as least as possible. So with that being said, A, B, C post. You can see the width of the post. I'm going to open up my tool, obviously get it off my door. When I close it, instead of closing it without doing anything, I'm going to close it and smash that post down to give me a smaller area to cut in the future. And then I'll be closed and ready to go up to the hinge and start to remove the rest of the rear door.
Once again, when I close this tool, once I remove it from its pressure, I'm gonna close it on my overextender and my wiring, completing that cut as I'm closing to get ready for the removal of the bottom hinge. Okay, for this maneuver, we're gonna go ahead and remove the front passenger side door. Again, we're gonna to need to get a purchase point. We could obviously go up here, which is a really nice small area for the 11C, or I can come back here just as I did on the other side and try to go from angle to angle right here. A different way to capture this is to bring your combination tool in and give a little pinch here. It will help it to grip if it wants to slip on you. We'll go ahead and try that. As you can see, 11 inches of spread, fully open. I now have a purchase point. Again, from just giving that little pinch, it gave just enough for that spreader tip to grab onto. And you can see the aggressiveness of the Genesis tip, how it is on the door frame here, or the window frame as well. As mentioned, we can also use this small space here. So for sake of the video, we'll show you that as well. We already have a gap here, of course, but you'll see the difference once we spread a little bit. Here we go. Now that we've removed the rear door and front door, we're gonna remove our tips and attack the hinges on this rear door on the passenger side. Tips are easily removable by pushing the pin up from the bottom on the one side, sliding the tip off, and then down from the top on the other side, sliding that off. Now we have a straight blade, dedicated cutter. At this point, we'll go ahead and check our battery life. So when I depress the button, lights up three bars of full, telling us that we are still three quarters full after what we've done so far. So we've removed our tips, we've placed the cutter around the hinge, and now we'll go ahead and make the cut. So as you can see, after removing the tips on the 11C, we were able to cut through the top hinge, the overextender bar, and the bottom hinge, freeing up the door on the hinge side totally. Now that we have both passenger side doors removed, I took my tips back off and we're gonna make our cuts on our A, B, and C post on this side. 
Uh, we could have made them while the tips were off before we put them back on while I was making the other cuts just to save some time. However, I just wanted to get the door off to make a nice clean view of what we're gonna do next. Okay, I have my 11C in place. Notice my tool positioning. When using any type of tool, cutter, and of course a spreader as well, we wanna try to keep as little debris out of the inside of this boot as possible. Just another tip or a trick to help care for your product. So, go ahead and turn the tool on. For the C post. I didn't crunch this side down purposely just to show the difference in making a several cuts over here with possibly one cut on the other side with a smaller area to cut. all the way through in four cuts. So notice the difference from my crunch, crunch down to where we only needed two cuts on the driver's side and up to four cuts on the passenger side to get through the seat post. Okay, as you can see, we've now removed all four doors. We've cut A, B, and C post on the driver's side, remembering that we did crush the C post down on the driver's side first. We also cut A, B, and C post on the passenger side, making four cuts on the C post because we did not crunch down first. Let's take a look at our battery life after we've done all this. So we're now down to one bar. So Obviously, we've done a lot with this 11C so far. Next, we're gonna move on to a dash roll. So now we're back and we're gonna do our dash roll. What we need to do to prep is get the fender completely out of the way, as well as the hood. This will allow us to see the entire anatomy of the front end of this vehicle to make thorough and complete relief cuts to be able to roll the dash in the best efficient way we possibly can. We now have our fender removed as well as our hood lifted up, which allows us, as I mentioned earlier, to see the entire anatomy of the front end of the vehicle here. Once again, for thorough and complete relief cuts to help us move the dash in the most efficient way we possibly can. I've also removed the plugs away from these four bolts to be able to see the bolts here if we wanted to zip these out and remove them to release the cross support if we needed to do that as well. Notice my cutter placement behind the shock mechanism so when we do go to roll the dash, we don't lift up the entire front left wheel as well. 
So I can tell now by the sound of the motor on the 11C that it's giving me warning that the battery is about to die. So we'll go ahead and change out our battery, which is the Milwaukee 28 volt, five amp hour. But before we do that, just wanna go over one more time what we've done with the 11C. Keep in mind, we didn't use a dedicated full-size spreader or a dedicated full-size cutter. The 11C did everything we needed to do so far. However, we did have to make some extra spreads and extra cuts, which of course uses more battery life. We've removed all four doors, took the roof off, of course, cutting six posts, A, B, and C on both sides, smashing down the C post on this side with a couple smashing techniques, made our relief cut in our unibody up here, and now we're down to the bottom cut and we're gonna go ahead and change our battery out. So after a few cuts down here, making our relief, and two cuts up here, making sort of a pie cut for our pivot point, we were able to lift the dash a couple inches. As you can see, we do have some room in here. However, again, 11C, 11 inches of spread. So we're gonna go ahead and close this up. We're gonna put some cribbing to fill a void and see if we can't lift that a little bit further. So we've showed you the 11C doing the dash roll with the 11 inch spread and the 11C with removable tips. Now what we'd like to show you is the 11C with the fixed tips, however, with the mechanical ram attached to the end. Keep in mind, as we mentioned earlier in the studio, the mechanical ram gives you an additional 15 inches of spread for a total of 26 inches of spread with the 11C and the mechanical ram attached to it. Let's go ahead and try that. We've already made our relief cuts, thorough relief cuts, one, two, and three. Let's see what happens. So there's our 26 inches, folks. As you can see, more than likely, plenty of room, and all we used was the 11C combination tool with the mechanical ram attachment. So in closing, one last time, the Genesis 11C combination tool, 11 inches of spread, removable tips, powered by a Milwaukee 28 volt, five amp hour lithium ion battery. Removed four doors, cut six posts to remove the roof, made our relief cuts for our dash, high and low, and of course, lifted the dash approximately six or seven inches. If you have any questions, give us a call. Once again, the Genesis 11C combination tool. Thank you and have a safe day.